tonight. 22 days, and the polls say it's oh so close. The presidential candidates turn up the rhetoric in a Columbus Day battle to win undecided voters in undecided states. The death of Christopher Reed, from Hollywood superhero to courageous crusader for medical research. We'll look at his legacy. This is the CBS Evening News, with Dan Rather reporting from CBS News headquarters in New York. Good evening. Friends and fans are mourning Christopher Reeve, the actor and medical research activist. Reeve died yesterday of complications from an infection at a hospital north of New York City. He was 52. Confined to a wheelchair for the last nine years of his life, he first flew to movie stardom in 1978. As an actor, Christopher Reeve was best known for his role in the four Superman movies. I'm here to fight for truth and justice in the American way. As a man, he was known for his courage. You have to say, I deny these limitations. There are no limitations. United he appeared in 38 movies, both before and after the devastating horseback accident in 1995 that left him paralyzed from the neck down. Reeve's wife, Dana, has been by his side ever since. Hey, you see that blonde down there? Yeah, ma. Wave back to her for me. In 1998, Reeve produced and starred in a new version of Rear Window, for which he won a Screen Actors Guild Award for Best Actor. Hello, Clark. I've been expecting you. Last year, he returned to his Superman roots, appearing in a television series about the young Clark Kent. But his true legacy won't be what he did on screen he'll be best remembered as a tireless advocate we'll for stem cell there. research. Yeah, I'm going to fight for the cure. I'm going to fight for funding. I'm going to fight for change. And so he did. Christopher Reeve leaves his wife and three children and many, many fans. His fans include others with spinal cord injuries. We'll give you a look at the impact of his work on their behalf in tonight's Inside Story, Straight Ahead. With his death, Christopher Reeve is remembered not just for playing the Man of Steel, but for his steely resolve to push the limits of research on spinal cord injuries. He did more than talk the talk to help find a new way to walk. A CBS News medical correspondent report from Elizabeth Caledon gives you the Inside Story. Christopher Reeve's paralyzing injuries cast him in a new role, and he was a natural. As a passionate spokesman for people with spinal cord injuries, he urged politicians, the United Nations, even Hollywood's elite to do more for the disabled. He pushed research into spinal cord injuries to the forefront, starting a foundation that trained doctors like Keith Tanzi. He really raised the bar and asked people to perform more faster. Reeve was always seeking out the cutting edge in medicine. Dr. John McDonald worked with him for five years at Washington University's spinal cord injury program. One of the unique uh, qualities that, that Chris possessed is this incredible drive. I mean, he was the, one of the most focused individuals that I'd ever seen. Reeve and McDonald were convinced that a brand new activity-based approach to reversing paralysis could work. Reeves spent hours in physical therapy, repeating simple motions, and he eventually saw unprecedented results when he could move his limbs in water. Not only did he extend his life well beyond what, what any average ind individual would have, but he demonstrated that substantial recovery of uh, function was possible. When he wasn't pushing himself to the outer limits, Reeve was trying to convince others to go there. He lobbied members of Congress to allow federal funding of embryonic stem cell research, one of the key issues in the current campaign. Chris Reeve is a friend of mine. John Kerry's nod to him during last week's presidential debate shows just how central a figure Reeve had become in the future of stem cell research. Without leaving his wheelchair, he was able to make towards a cure. Christopher Reeve always set his high. His goal was nothing short of being able to walk again. And he gave millions the same hope. The heroic leading man on film, an even greater inspiration in life. Elizabeth Caledon, CBS News, New York. Actor Christopher Reeve, he portrayed the Man of Steel on the big screen, but many think of Reeve as a hero for what he did after 
a devastating horse accident. We take a closer look at the extraordinary things he did and what doctors at Cleveland University Hospitals did to help Reeve in his rehabilitation. Plus, we'll speak live with a surgeon who helped Reeve breathe on his own. And danger on a Northeast Ohio highway. Police right now on the lookout for rock Tonight, with the death of actor Christopher Reeve. Reeve died yesterday afternoon after going into cardiac arrest triggered by an infection. Reeve, of course, was an inspiration to millions. After a horrific horse riding accident nine years ago paralyzed him from the neck down. News Channel 5 health team reporter Alicia Booth joins us now with more on the enormous strides he made for himself and other quadriplegics. Alicia? Stephanie, Christopher Reeve was a true man of steel, turning his personal tragedy into a public crusade with the help of doctors from Cleveland's University Hospitals. Superman? That's me. Christopher Reeve brought Superman to the big screen, portraying the man of steel. But at a 1995 equestrian competition, Reeve's life changed forever. His horse stopped abruptly, hurling the actor headfirst into the ground. Reeve was paralyzed from the neck down and dependent on a respirator. I'm going to kick this thing. In fact, Reeve defied the odds and pushed himself through rigorous therapy, including breakthrough experimental surgery in 2003 in our own backyard at University Hospitals. Reeve returned to directing, even acting, in a 1998 remake of a Hitchcock classic, Rear Window. In 2000, Reeve was able to move his index finger. A specialized workout regime made his legs and arms stronger. Personal tragedy turned into a public crusade. Reeve lobbied for stem cell research, an issue that has emerged in the presidential campaign. Chris Reeve exercises every single day to keep those muscles alive for the day when he believes he can walk again, and I want him to walk again. One of Reeve's last public appearances was just last week in Chicago. He was on hand to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Rehabilitation Institute. But the severity of the spinal cord injury proved too much. A pressure wound common among quadriplegics became infected and led to heart failure. This journey of learning to live with a disability uh, has taught me more about myself uh, than I would have ever learned otherwise. Today, candles surround Reeve's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Now, that surgery that Reeve had has now been done 12 times at UH, and coming up in a few minutes, we're going to check in with a local man who had the exact same surgery right after Reeve and get reaction from him. It's very interesting to talk to him. Alicia, his death came so suddenly, I don't know of anybody who was expecting it. Well, the problem is it's very common. The average life expectancy of someone who has that type of injury is only seven years. Mm -hmm. Tiny problem can become very serious. Yeah, already beaten the odds. Mm -hmm. Alicia Booth, thank you very much. Okay, thanks. Accolades are pouring in this afternoon from all over the world, really, for Christopher Reeve. Even his mother released a statement. Barbara Johnson says she's glad he's finally free of all those tubes and that her son put up with a lot after breaking his neck back in the year 1995. And Massachusetts Senator John Kerry, as you saw, who referred to Reeve during last Friday's presidential debate, calls the actor America's hero and an inspiration to all of us. Kerry added furthermore that Reeve met every challenge with the courage and character that broke new ground in his struggle. Christopher Reeve also spent countless hours touring the country offering insight into his world and his fight. And that included, of course, a stop at Kent State University in April last year. Reeve spoke to students there about the importance of being a leader in your own life. I don't recommend that you go out and gallop across the field <laughs> and fall off your horse and break your neck. Um, you can learn to be a leader in other ways. Uh, it's a lot easier. It starts right here. What a great look at life. Coming up, Live on 5, the University Hospital surgeon who performed the experimental operation which helped Reeve breathing on his own. Dr. Raymond Anders joins us at 540, Live on 5. And our coverage of the death of Christopher Reeve is far from over this afternoon. Make sure you watch tonight at 8 o'clock for a special tribute to the actor anchored by Reeve's friend, Barbara Walters. Christopher Reeve, a tribute to courage, airs tonight at 8, followed by Monday Night Football and News Channel 5. After the